Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Mark RC Motors. Uh, today we've got uh, another unboxing, uh, part two. This is part two, obviously you've seen part one, which part one was this beast. That was the last unboxing of then, not long ago. Now this is part two, which is another armoured I got. Um, that's all I can say, to see the um, <coughs> fear with the box. This is this one's another um, brushed car. Obviously, I'm going to upgrade it later on in the future to brushless. The reason why I buy these brushless cars because I can upgrade it and I find it interesting to upgrade it, make it more faster and that sort of thing. And at the end of the day, it's cheaper to buy brushed products and then it's dearer to buy the brushless. You see what I mean? If you already got the motors lying about, which I wish I had, um, I'd just chuck my nose in there, save a lot of money in a day, you know. I always do all the diffs before I take it for a run. Um, this one here is going to be obvious. I've all the discs done in that. This one down here is going to have the disc done as well. So we're busy doing that. Anyway, let's get on with it. Part two. Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the unboxing. This is what you call the armored. This is the Fotex Boost. The Fotex Boost. There's a new one out. Just released it about a month ago from Armored. Yeah. So, um, touching stuff. It's a 550 motor, mega motor, ready to run. Which that's what I like. And it's got a spectrum system in there. I suppose you could upgrade it. I reckon you can. So that's what I'm going to do later on. And it's got, I can see, got two years warranty, which is good armoured. Well done. Two years warranty. What we got on here then? Yeah, we've got the battery already included. I think. No, I didn't buy the battery included. But I got a spare battery anyway. So I'll give it the uh, test run. And it says up there, guys, 13 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour on uh, 7.2 volts. So it's not too bad. So yeah, let's get the thing open and get it on boxing, guys. See you in a bit. Right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the unboxing. There she is, the Armored Vortex. Boost. Brushed. Not brushes, guys. But brush can be good sometimes, you know. Still got a lot of power. We wouldn't have 30 miles an hour for a reason, see, would it? So 30 miles an hour at the box is quite good. Let's put that one up there. She is, look, guys, all packed in the box. You can see that, can't you? This is the controller. I think this is in the new controller. This is. Let's have a look at the controller now. Let's have a look. <coughs> Get going. Put that there. It's always a good controller, isn't it? Really, so. Oh, yes, guys. I like the controller, but like I said in the last video, I use my own. Got a good foam on the wheel. I might be able to drive one hand, so that's not too bad. Look, trigger's not too bad, quite firm. We got USR there, high and low, steering, and you've got your tracking steering on there. What else you got on there, guys? You've got your throttle trims there. And you've got uh, 50%, 75 and 100 So I always start on 15 work your way up if you're a beginner, beginner <coughs> first time ready control car in, you know. Because you don't want to stick on 100 and end up going in a brick pool, you know. So that's not bad, not a bad start. But like I said, guys, I've got my own on you, who's here. Because obviously I've been doing ready control cars for 20 odd years now. So I've got the, the big boys one, you know. The uh, Fly Sky GT3 C GT3 C, which has been out for a few years, but I do like it because you can store to ten regular truck cars on there. So yeah, that's the best way to go forward, anyway. Anyway, this is what we went for, guys. the colour, I love the colour. Structures we go for in a minute. Uh, so you've got your batteries there and all your bits and bobs and tools, which we don't go, we don't use that. <coughs> OK, 
chuck the box down there in the way. The moments here, guys, from the new Ironbird Fortex. There we go. This sort of protects all the body shell. So, that's what I like. This is wicked awesome, this is. Do you know what? I could look at this all day, I could. I could fall in love with it, you know. I mean, the tyres are just at this world. They're firm, they're not soft, you know, in between. They've got plenty of grip, you know. So that's good. I've just done it again on the tyres. Um, I reckon on the grass, no problem, mud. On the road, it may spin a bit, but, you know, and then nevertheless, it's a basher in the day. It's not a street basher, so it's definitely on grass. And BMX tracks, that sort of thing. I do like the uh, body show. We've got the old, gets it more, uh, keep more firm in there. We've got the protect the <coughs> body show so when it throws over that, you know. So that's good about that as well. And the other there, I'm going to put it over there in the way. Right now, guys. My god, that motor is huge, isn't it? That's a brushed 50, 550 brush motor. Apparently it's a much better than the standard motor you should put in there. It's got more punchy. Um, like I said to you, I will tr run it on brush now and do some speed runs and that. And then later on, I will upgrade it to the Spectrum. I've got the new Arbus Armour Spectrum down here. I'll just show you in the last video, I'll show you again. This is what I'm probably going to run it like, guys. Yeah, the Spectrum there and the BX100 ESC. And I got the 25 kilo servo. I'm waiting to shut that in there and take the 15 kilo out, make it more, make it steer more faster, you know, guys. That's what I like in a day, faster, faster, faster steering. You know, it's better. Anyway, shut that in there. I'll bring you over to the bench. Let's bring you over the bench for more detail. Hi right, guys, welcome back. I told you we'd be more closer to the car. Right then guys, there she is. But I still can't get over guys. The body shell. That is a lovely looking red, isn't it? Fast touch. I do agree on that, it's a fast touch. Because it goes quite, you know, <coughs> speed. Speeds up to 30 mile an hour out of a brush motor. It's not too bad. Um, they must give you upgraded pinion gear as well to put in there to get speeds of 30 mile an hour um, but yeah it's obviously not a 4 by 4 because you haven't got the 4 by 4 you know rod, rod um, whatever you call it you know rod bit in there so you can get that put that in and make it 4 by 4 but 2 wheel drives all right uh, let's go look at the shots again like I did in my last video let's fill these shots actually these are not too bad guys nice and firm and they flip back look like that. That means you know they're right, see? They flip like that. Let's do the rear as well. Yeah. The rear is pretty good, guys. Exactly the same. Nice and firm and they flip back look like that. That's how they should be, like. Yeah, they don't like stay down like that. They pop up, so that's how shocks should be, see? But if it stayed down like that, I'll be worried. But it don't. That's good. Tires, like I said a minute ago, are spot on. They've got the air in there so it could breathe and they get wet and that sort of thing. <coughs> the servo is, I think, so it says on the box, I think the servo is something like a 10 kilogram. I'm not really sure what they say, but I think, yeah. Uh, there we go, guys. 20% servo. What do you say, guys? It just says, oh, yeah, it does. It's a six kilo, six kilo servo. That's definitely coming out. I'm definitely gonna put the 25 in there, be more faster on the O steering. That'd be right for now with a brushless motor at that servo. But later on, I'll take all this out, chuck in the brushless system, be more, much more faster, <coughs> much more torque in that. 
but yeah, I'll do some speed runs, guys, and then um, put them up on the site. So you can have a look in that. <coughs> anyway, guys, well, we call it there for the day, and um, I hope you like the uh, unboxing the video and that. And I'll catch you all very soon. Please like and subscribe, which you will do anyway. And another big shout out is to the people who sent me this. It's um, Make It Build at Birmingham Way, something up there. They ship these products down to me. Um, I've got them a bit cheaper because obviously it's Black Friday. So I'm pleased about that. Thumbs up for them. And thanks for you all for subscribing, guys, because at the end of the day, I wouldn't be here now doing this if it weren't for you, you know. So. Anyway, thumbs up, guys, and uh, see you all very soon. Sorry, guys, welcome back to my channel, Mark RC Models. Um, just a quick little, um, well, poem, I can say, I, I found in the armored kit. I expect you guys were seen it already. It's something what I already put in there, I'll read out for you. It's got on there, start your Razor Crow car here, fast, touching, upgradable. That's good, it's upgradable. The best class, handling, durable, and speed plus boostable he's got boost power boost track performs and your skills grow which mine's growed anyway <laughs> all the time you never never fall out with razor cars they love your life like you know four by four ready with the armored inclusive boost box <coughs> the power boost and it's l <coughs> lipos ready brushless ready Ready to basically to go to transform into brushless. That's what they're trying to say. I like that little ticket. I might keep that for a souvenir. I might even frame it. <laughs> anyway, see you all very soon. Have a good day.